But should we be encouraging designers to start their own brands and go out on their own? Why is it they always have to work for these people oh. that are considered the higher end designers? Can they not make it without doing that first? I always say that. I always say that. I always say that I had to work exactly. I had to work for designers because honestly, you need to make mistakes with other people's money to become a professional. That's right. And and in any industry, in any field, and we don't and we don't trajectory exactly. And and we're not. We don't come from a place where our families were merchants, and mm -hmm. you know we don't have that background like some of the Asians do. They have a lot of factories, and their families come up building businesses that way. We don't have that, so this would be the first generations to do it. But I always say, please become an apprentice, please learn, and then you can become forceful when you have something to say. And Go and ahead. those designers are not necessarily swinging the doors open for you to walk in. Either. It's not as though that they are like, come on in, you know, people of color. It's really not the case. They are not thinking about it, nor do we have a community unified force. Now, Jason, we, I want to speak to you about the op-ed you wrote recently that caused quite a bit of controversy. Okay. You had tongues wagging. Your issue primarily was with the way that people of color are covered by the fashion world, and you pointed to Vogue Italia, and you took issue with their black Vogue section on the website. What was your fundamental problem with that? Well, uh, I want to preface it by saying, but I, I think Franco Cezani mm -hmm. is one of the individuals in this industry who happens to have black people and people of color at the top of her mind. Mm -hmm. So I will say this. I will also say that the way that it was presented in Vogue.it was a really misguided um, presentation in the way that it was done. You it was called it offensive, misguided, and racially insensitive. That's Absolutely. That's a very strong statement there. Blacks yes. over here everyone else over here. I was particularly, particularly um, affronted by one section that it was Voguista Black, and essentially that was uh, the street pics from P.T. Uomo in Florence. I was like, why am I only seeing black street style in this single section over here? To me, and considering what's been going on in Italy, there's been a rash of really offensive, racially insensitive things that's taken place in Italy over the last mm. nine months. Really, really, really terrible. So when I saw something Shots like that... Were fired right. and bananas were thrown. Yeah. Okay. But some people it's, said. Essentially. And then when I see that the, the, the massive division, the chasm that is created between the races that is um, that is in a, in a publication that's supposed to be helping uh, unify the races, I really thought they got it wrong on that in, in that instance. And uh, and the, I got to say, the response also took me aback. Everyone else got sort of fashion and lock mm. arms and was just like, oh, no, separate but equal is okay. No, separate but, but equal is not okay in those instances because when those children, when those, um, those people in Italy see those black people over here and the rest of the folks over here, they think that we are other. Okay, that well, that, 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 people. I have to have you respond yeah, because I know that you work closely with Vogue Italia. I know I that you're know friends with Brown say, Can we all just get along? Yeah, right? Okay. That's yes. what I understand. <laughs> I understand. And can we all just <laughs> get along? I, mean, I have so much respect. You have no work to do. I, know, I have so much respect you. for the work you're doing I and, and I understand that in any one of these discussions are gonna be people put in challenging political spaces. So that said, we know, Jason and I, that there was an, a, a bit of an attempt to throw him under the bus. Mm. And, Absolutely. And not, that, that Wait, wait, Jason, what I, want, I, mean? I wanna hear, Kiba, that's you, your assessment. Jason, how did you feel? Did you feel that you were thrown under the bus, attacked by fashion people for writing that op-ed Yeah, it column? was such a fashion response. It was like the big fashion players lock arm and be like, who is this Jason Campbell? Let's discredit him, let's call him or whatever, because we are, you know, we are no names, we're bold faced names. And his, his gripe, his problem with how we presented our editorial is not valid because we don't really know him so well. I mm -hmm. thought that was a really poor position to take, and I've got to express to you, Bethan, I thought that was a poor position for you to take as well, that instead of you trying to understand better about how someone in your community and someone who's a part of that effort, part of that larger effort that you're working on feels about this, you in fact, went very much with the fashion, you know, the fashion cognoscenti, and was like, this guy, he offend what he says is offensive, and this is wrong. I thought that was, you missed an opportunity there, and I thought that you really sort of jumped on that fashion bus with the Naomi Campbell, with the Franca Fazzani, and you tried to intimidate me, and I didn't appreciate it. 
I don't think anyone could intimidate you. <laughs> That's a good I point. said you're trying to intimidate me. I didn't say I was intimidated. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm not intimidated, but you're trying to intimidate but I, me. I and I, I wish you. I, I wish we had, had. I wish it was more of a, a dialogue between us. You said Beth something. Was your, att your t attempt was not to not, intimidate. Not at Tim. all. Okay. I, not at all. I would. My community. I don't know what my community is. As far as you being part of it, I'm sure that you might be, and I don't know what it is, but I work for Italian Vogue. I helped put up that site. You didn't call me and say, hey, what is that whole thing that you're doing? I did reach out to you. Oh, I didn't see it, honey. Okay, well, I did reach out to you. Yeah, I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But I did respond back to you personally before I, anything was said, and you said, please read what I wrote before, because I didn't know. Yeah. I just heard all the stuff being said on the internet. The fact of it really is, Franca Zazani, and, and I think if, it was, if you could have understood what it was and the reason it was started. And that's what we wanted to get to you. We didn't, you know, these people, Naomi is supported by Franca. Franca supports Naomi. Naomi supports Franca. Naturally, she's going to step up if someone's calling her in any way a racist. But Ms. And that's how response was emblematic of that which we have all exactly. had with personal acquaintances. Like when what? you take them to task for something they've done that is not in keeping with the person they want to be, and instead of using the opportunity to learn and taking the time to listen, they react immediately. Because she felt attacked. But feeling attacked does not... Vindic Just like he felt. Feeling attacked doesn't... Like he felt he was put under the bu pushed under the bus. Mm. The same thing. People felt attacked. She was, she was like, oh my God, what? What? Me? But I'm not... she didn't address the issue, and we, we used an analogy earlier. Well, so you'll have, if you'll you have, go you have a thing going on. If I you... get that. No, no, no. We don't no, have a thing going on. Has... No, no. no. I am so... No. I want to always... Re... But you said we... we I, I, no, we just I, had a conversation with Bruno, and I want to reiterate that. I know that. I know that. inspired by your work yeah, and your I, son's work. I, I get it. For I get it. I get it. But, but I'm just saying, I'm an elder. If you go into a restaurant... I look at things a little differently. If you go into a restaurant... And I'm not also of who you are. I understand that. And I see things a little differently, and I and I help to promote something. I did do that. I have to tell you something. I'm guilty of, mm. of Vogue Black. Mm. I'm guilty. Yeah. I help I don't think that. there's a guilt involved, but I'll say but this. But I am. If you go into If you into think a it's racist, what's those no, two words? I didn't say that. He said Indicative offensive, of, misguided, yeah. and racially and, insensitive. Exactly. I, here's a Negro but here, here doing I, it. I just want to say, if you wait, go wait, into wait, a restaurant wait, wait, and there's a wait, hair on your plate, and you say, there's a hair on my plate, and the restaurant owner says, how dare you say that about my restaurant? You say, that's not addressing the hair on the plate. Right. I'm not insulting your restaurant. What? I need this hair off the plate. That's my point. That's a very good example. That's a very good analogy. That's a very I'm good saying. example. That's a very that's good, over my head. That's a very good so analogy. So let me say, so what, you, what you're saying is, the fact is that she shouldn't have been thinking about the content she was, she was supporting or she was defending the magazine? She was, she was defending the establishment. I mean, the, uh, the and, IT? And, and, and her authority as exactly. an established fashion exactly. professional. She wasn't addressing the editorial. Guys, unfortunately, we have to wrap this up. It can go oh. on for days. But real quick, just what should we do going forward? What should the next steps be? Real quick. Ten seconds. I think we need to dialogue outside of the black community. And I think black professionals outside of fashion that have capital need to invest in young, talented black design professionals. Jason, right. really quickly. I don't think that we should be afraid of making people feel uncomfortable, bec uh, people that is <laughs> that are non-black or non-people of color, um, by presenting these issues directly to them in their faces in public wherever it's necessary. Bethann, closing words. Can we all get along? <laughs> can we all get along? <laughs> yes, yes, we can. Right yes, here at Rise Entertainment <laughs> 360. Thank you all for joining us. Yes, we'll be right thank back. Thank you.